spray jar. And then we line the mold up to this sharp line. And then once we put that mold in here, we put a wooden plate inside the mold. Then we take uh, an aluminum plate, which is uh, 12.8 millimeters thick. We put that in there. Then we take a metal plate that's uh, 3 millimeters thick. We put that on top of the aluminum. And then we have mold papers. <laughs> so we put mold paper on top of that steel plate. And then we have this uh, cooking spray, vegetable cooking spray. And we coat the inside of the mold with the cooking spray. And then we put the mix in there. Once we put the mix in there, we level it out and we uh, slightly, uh, the corner should be slightly higher than the rest of the, uh, the material in there. And what we're trying to do is get uh, firm compaction in the corners. And then once we put the uh, mix in there, we put another mold paper on top of that. And then we put the compaction plates on top of uh, the mold paper. So there's 31 compaction plates per mold. And those compaction plates, we have to put in there tight or we don't get enough in there. If we, if we don't have enough uh, compaction plates, what we'll do is we'll get a uh, shark skin effect here. You just won't get them all in there and they'll compact at an angle. And they'll get a, a rough surface instead of a nice smooth surface. So and those are those little the square things in the oven? Yep. So to get our compaction height, we uh, start the machine. Power up. So we have 259.8. We add everything up, your, all of our spacers, the total of those spacers is 126 millimeters. Uh, Shu calculated out the specimen height. He said it was 69 millimeters tall. So you add everything up and it will compact to that height, 195 millimeters. And what we do is we start the cycle. Bend the gets the position here. And it cycles back and forth. When it starts cycling, then we can start running the compaction head down. So we start bringing it down until that head gets in contact with the specimen. press the button, the stop cycle button. And then when it stops, we have to shut the power off because we won't be able to open up the door otherwise. Then the what we'll do is we undo these mold camps, clamps with the uh, Allen wrench here those aside and then those molds that doesn't show it in here but this mold has uh, a, two screws on this end and two screws on that end and we loosen those up and we're able to break the mold apart take the mold off wipe off the uh, uh, the vegetable spray and the uh, asphalt cement put it back in the oven then the, with the mold, uh, we'll have that steel plate. So we'll slide that steel plate out there, put it on the table to cool, take the uh, vacuum paper up, and then take everything out, throw it back in the oven, and then we'll get ready for the next festival. So we have two molds, uh, so we can cycle back and forth. So, while this one is cycling, take another action plate, not a plate, a steel plate, put it on top of that stuff.
stress them, turn it upside down, take that plate off, and then take off the fashion paper. So that's the uh, brief synopsis of how to do the compaction. Uh, so this little uh, get an operating procedure will tell you just that. And what we'll do is we'll run a few specimens and I'm just going to hang them. So, 